So what are some tools that you guys have learned? Yeah, I think one of the primary tools um, that I've learned in order to keep myself healthy is how to have healthy boundaries. Yeah. Um, without a doubt, there's always gonna be people who need your attention. There's always gonna be people who need help. Uh, we're in the business of giving people hope and making sure they have everything that we need. And what happens is, the people who you are caring for will rarely set boundaries for you. You have to set boundaries for yourself. And I think the road to burnout and anxiety and all of the things that we're talking about and frustration, that road is paid with people who have good intentions to care for people, but haven't set good boundaries. That's so good. So what does that mean? I'm a father of twins, and I try to make it a rule in my house or a boundary that I have that I won't be outside of my house more than two nights a week. Outside of my I house. I love that. Yes, doing that ministry. Is so, so, good. so now, smart. So that's, sharp. That's ideal, right? Yeah. There are some seasons where you can't do that. Christmas season around here, yeah. you're going to be out a whole yeah. lot more, right? Yeah. So I try to think of life in terms of rhythm instead of balance. Mm-hmm. So if I'm coming to a busier rhythm time, if we're going into, we do a kids' camp around here at Bayside, it's a super busy time. I try to double down and make sure that I'm spending time, more time with my kids. It's a pre investment. It's a pre investment, exactly. I'm getting yeah. prepared for it. I'm letting my wife know about it. I'm letting my kids know about it. Brian and I were both about to leave and go to Israel. Uh, And before we leave, my kids, for the past two days, have just spent the entire day with me because I want to make that investment so that the time that I'm missing while I'm gone, we're able to spend time together. So just making sure that you have strong boundaries that you stick to will save you a lot of stress and anxiety. Absolutely. You're preparing on the front end rather than re-engineering after you hit. Yes the low point right which i think is so good i think knowing your limitations which is another way of saying boundaries yeah is vital uh even jesus had limitations right jesus didn't meet everybody's need and he did not invest in every demand Uh, jesus often i was reading luke chapter 5 this week and jesus often went away Mm -hmm. to a quiet place to pray to his father. Yeah, yeah. He got Circle away from that him. word yeah. often. Often. Yeah. often. Yeah, it was, a, it was a regular part of his rhythm. Yes. It was a regular part of what he was doing. Noticing that you have limitations is also meaning that I'm not trying to be the Messiah for everybody. Yes. I had a pastor, he had a saying that used to, it just cracked me up, but it's a real saying. He was like, if you think that you can be there for everybody, I dare you to die. And essentially what he's saying is, if you die tomorrow, people yeah. will figure out life without you. That's exactly so yeah. create the boundaries and don't kill yourself. Yes. I dare you to die. If you die, trust me, life will go on. Wayne Cordero told me something very similar. He said, people love you so much, Wesley, they'll kill you. Yeah. They will love you to death. Yeah. Because they want you to meet every demand, mm-hmm. yes. every need, and we can't. We're humans. Yeah. Yeah. We're not robots. Yeah. We we want to do this for the long haul. It's a marathon, Bigger not than that, a We're not Jesus. Yeah. We're not Jesus. <laughs> and he even had boundaries and limitations. 100%. What about you? What are some tools that have been it, helpful? It's uh, a lot in the mold of what Jason was talking about, but it, it's put it down and turn it off. Mm, right? That's Just good. put it down and turn it off. People think automatically, uh, if I send you a text, what? You, you owe me a reply, 100%. right? If, if I send you a text and then I look 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later, three hours later, and you didn't reply, that I think you owe me something that you didn't deliver. Mm. That's not right. It isn't, it isn't fair. Mm. And in this work, with as many people as we circle with, the demands that are on us, you, you do. You just have to draw the line and say, I'm going to have this day, this time, mm-hmm. this week, this time, where I'm going to shut it off and put it down and not even my brain's not even going to and and this makes it incredibly difficult right to do that i don't have this all figured out i'm yeah. the guy that likes to respond i want to be always available i always want to help but then just saying like nah uh, i've just worked for eight days with no day off which how healthy is that not mm-hmm. very but today i have to put it down i have to turn it off or I'm gonna be about as useful as a wrung out washcloth mm. for anybody else, myself included, my family included. The other little sub part of this is uh, I'm only at my best when I'm taking a hard look in the mirror of my own life. That's good. Where, what is the Lord, what depths in me is the Lord probing in me? Scripture talks about examine yourself.